welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Agnes and oh my goodness, my kids. I have two kids. They are both boys, Hunter and Paxton. They are three and one years old, so toddler years. It's been a couple days since I've vlogged or made any kind of video. Um, so I just thought I'd hop on and say hi. This is my day right now. There's Paxton. John just left for work a little bit ago. Okay, please stop. Please stop. John just left for work a little bit ago. Um, he was so nice and stayed extra this morning and cleaned up a little bit, did some dishes, so I appreciate that a lot. Because being a stay-at-home mom definitely takes a toll on you. Um, just trying to think of new things to do with your kids and keep them entertained um, and busy and there's just not a lot of time to clean all the time. So he was um, nice and helpful this morning which I really appreciate because now I don't have to do as much but I still have to clean because you just never have the time. So today like I said, nothing really interesting is going on, but um, I thought I would talk a little bit about um, like bed training, sleep training, or something. I don't know exactly what to call it because my son is three years old. And I'm trying to teach him how to sleep in his bed all night. Um, he's doing really good for nap time, so sleep in his bed, all of nap. But he's just struggling with the sleeping in his bed all night thing. Which he was doing really good. It's just when dad is home, when John is home, um, he struggles with sleeping in his bed all night. But over the weekend when John leaves for work, he, he'll sleep in his bed all night. And I don't know, he probably just misses John because he works a lot. So I don't know. Um, we're still gonna work on it. I'm still gonna stick with it and not push him too hard to do it, but, um, he was doing really good. And then if John comes home before bedtime, it's a struggle. But I'll show you what I did. I kind of put together something for him. One minute. Put the light on. There we go. I put something together for him, so maybe it'll help him. It's not the best thing to do, but it has to do with a little bit of bribing. bribing. So if you're not into that type of parenting, then just, I guess, click out of this video or just skip to the rest of it. But um, I'll show you what I made him. So I put together this chart for him, um, and I had him color it and put stickers on it, and it's funny because he didn't even mean to do it, but he like did a pattern with the stickers, and I thought that was funny because he was just sticking them on there. But anyway, it's just this chart. It's just on a piece of paper, and I, I actually laminated mine um, because we're going to use a dry erase marker and put an X or a dot or whatever type of mark by each day that he sleeps in his bed he, like for a full nap and all night and then I also put in there if he wakes up with a dry pull up he can get a mark too and then at the end of the week there's a star and if he gets all seven X's then he can go to the store and pick out a small toy so I'm hoping that works. Um, with potty training, we did, um, to get him to go on the potty, we gave him one M&M every time he went pee on the potty. And if he went poop, he got a whole bag of fruit snacks. Not like a big bag of fruit snacks or anything, just like the little package pouch things. But yeah, that's what I am going to do 
for right now because I don't really know what else to do. Um, but yeah, hopefully that works. So our routine is um, when we get ready for nap time and bedtime, he goes potty and then he puts a pull up on just in case because I don't know, he doesn't know how to wake up yet to go to the bathroom, but he usually wakes up with a dry pull up anyways. So he does that, gets a pull up on, and then we go come into his room and he lays down and then I read him one or two books and then I I don't stay in the room anymore. We used to stay in the room until he fell asleep and that's when it's just too much for us now. Um, we just think that he's old enough now that, I don't know, we want him to learn how to fall asleep by himself because we kind of did baby him and I don't want to do that with Paxton. So, um, yeah, anyway, I read him books and then I take Paxton into my room and since I'm still breastfeeding him for nap time, um, I go breastfeed him and put Paxton down for a nap and then it's just nap time and bedtime. So that's what we do. Um, I'm also trying to wean Paxton. Boys. I'm also trying to wean Paxton off of breastfeeding, which is hard. But I'll talk about that later or in a different video. So I'll probably talk about it later. Um, because it's just about lunchtime now. Well, almost. It's almost lunch. It's almost lunchtime. That wasn't funny. Yeah. <laughs> we have to clean up your room. Look at the big mess. Yeah, Paxton made it. Yeah, Paxton made it, but we could all clean it up. But anyway, it's almost lunchtime, so I have to go get lunch ready for them and then nap time. But if you guys would like to see a nap time routine, let me know. Just comment that down below. Um, and I could do nap time routine or bedtime or both or something whatever also just let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see um i mostly do day in the life just vlogs but yeah okay guys it's way later in the day it's i don't even know how much five maybe um they took a nap and when they woke up we played a little bit had a little snack and i got to work oh my goodness I got to work in the kitchen to clean it, and this is what I just did. So I emptied both sinks of dishes, and this is what it was. John did a bunch of dishes this morning, and then we had all of this still in the sink. Our sink has not been, like, completely empty since, like, I don't even know, like, the holidays, maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it has not been empty and clean like this, so success for me. And I think John will be happy to come home to some cleanness in the house. Now I have to go see the mess that the kids made in the living room. So, so this is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, you guys made a mess. And now we're going to work together and clean it up. Yeah. I stand corrected. It's actually 6 o'clock, which means I didn't think it took that long to do the dishes. Sorry about the lighting. Um, but I need to go put some dinner in the oven. I think we're going to have lasagna. And yeah. All right. That's a little bit better, I think. What are you doing, Paxton? Are you hanging out with Mr. Smiley? Are you hanging out with Mr. Cool Dude here? Oh, careful, watch your head. Yeah? 
my two little boys. We did a good job cleaning. Thank you very much. Whew. That was almost a little workout. Every time I cleaned something, they would make a mess of something else. But that's pretty typical for toddlers. Um, so they had fun while mommy cleaned. Typical. But they did help a little bit, especially with the blocks. Um, Paxton actually really likes cleaning up, so I'm grateful and thankful for that. But um, I put the lasagna in the oven, so that should be done in about 45 minutes or like 50 minutes or so. So I think, I was thinking I could just pop in a movie and we'll just relax for the rest of the night until the dinner is done and watch a movie and then eat dinner and get ready for bed. Hunter would like to show his bunny. Is that your bunny? <laughs> and yes, it says Kahlua on it, but honestly, it was our gift from our neighbor, and he's like really old, so I don't know if he knows what Kahlua is, but yeah, I don't even know why this bunny says Kahlua on it. Yeah, I'm a West neighbor of this bunny drives to us. His name is Don. Whoops, Paxton. Oh. You okay? <laughs> no, be careful. <laughs> yeah, so that's a weird freaky bunny. But as you can probably see, they're kind of hectic right now, mostly Hunter. So I think a movie is a good idea to just calm them down a little bit because they've been running around while I was doing dishes. So they got a lot of energy out and Paxton just made a mess again. Mommy. Thank you, Paxton. Are you going to clean it up? Bye. Thank you. You like cleaning up? Good job. Hey, be careful over there. So we're just hanging out in the bedroom, watching Home. I like this movie. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty cute. So I put it on for the boys, and they're just sitting on the floor, well, on like one of those little kid couches, and watching the movie. I'm just sitting up here in the bed. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk to you guys. I wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, weaning off breastfeeding so it's obviously my second time doing it um but i just have such a stronger i guess bond or something with paxton because he only like strictly breastfeeds from the boob and with hunter he would he breastfed at first and then he would only take breast milk out of a bottle um and then towards the end he would breastfeed again but he weaned off really easily um and the way i do it is it's pretty typical to what like people give as advice to do it um you just take one nap at a time you do it slowly and then they're weaned off of breastfeeding um a lot of moms, they don't um, wean their kids. They let their kids wean themselves off. But a lot of moms also like to wean their kids. Um, just because, like, I want to because I've been breastfeeding him for almost 15 months. It'll be 15 months on the 1st that I've been breastfeeding him. 
And I, I only breastfed Hunter for 13 months, and then he did really good at weaning off. Um, I don't know, I kind of want my body back. And he's like really attached, um, which I love. I love the cuddles and everything, but I think he needs to learn um, more independence um, for himself. What do you want, bud? You want the wipes package? There you go. And also, I would like to start bed training him too because I didn't do that when he was a baby. Um, he slept in a bassinet next to our bed or he slept with me because it was easier to breastfeed. Um, and co-sleeping was my favorite to do with my kids. So anyway, those are the reasons I would like to start um, weaning him off. Um, because I want my personal space back and independence and bed training him. So my advice to um, other moms that are breastfeeding would be pretty much similar to anybody else's advice is to take it very slow at first, um, take one nap at a time. I'm starting with his morning nap. Um, sometimes he doesn't even take his morning nap anymore, so he skips that feeding anyway. But I'm starting with that one, not breastfeeding him if he takes a nap. We're just gonna, um, I'm actually doing something different with him that I didn't do with, with Hunter. Um, I'm gonna give him little yogurt bites or those, like, star puffs baby snacks. If he is a little bit hungry, I'll give him those um, to munch on with some water before. Um, but that's just me. Um, that's my preference because when I got to the taking away the feeding at bedtime with Hunter, he would wake, wake up in the middle of the night hungry and I didn't know what to give him. So I gave him those like round finger cookies and those have a little bit of sugar in them. Um, So that was not good on my part as a parent, but it worked for the time being. We didn't do it for very long, but it helped him to fall back asleep without that night feeding. But with Paxton, I'm just going to do the puffs and the yogurt drops um, because that's a healthier option than cookies are, but I think it might work. Um, I'm going to do it with the morning nap, the afternoon nap, and the night feeding. So I'm crossing my fingers it works. Um, I know it's going to take longer to wean him off just because of that bond that we have. Um, it's a little stronger. But yeah, um, that's just my advice to one nap at a time, take it slow, and if you need snacks to um, get it done, then so be it. Um, that's what I'm doing. I wouldn't judge any other mom that would do that and I would hope no one would judge me for doing that. Um, but I don't do milk. I have to go restart the movie because Paxton took it out of the machine. Um, but yeah, I was saying I would hope no mom would judge me for doing that. Um, I don't do milk. I give them a sippy cup with water in it um, just because of all the sugar in milk. Again, I don't judge you if you do give um, milk in a sippy cup or a bottle to put your kids down for naps or bed. Um, it's just my preference not to. Um, so yeah, that's my advice on weaning off of breastfeeding. I hope it helped. I am not an expert by all means at, um, at all. I just already have been through this once and I know a couple tricks um, to get through things but I don't know everything. I'm still learning myself um, and I do still have a lot of questions myself because I am I'm dealing with toddlers now and not babies. But if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to comment them down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can ask me questions there. 
um, I'll have my links down in the description for you and or you can email me I'll have my email down there as well um, but yeah any questions just ask and I'll give my advice if you guys have any other video um, ideas for me that you would like me to do um, feel free to comment that down below and message me or anything and again I hope this video kind of helped the reason I did it in a vlog style is because I like I've said in my other videos if you have watched um, it's just more convenient for mom so I just did it in a vlog style video I'm sorry if that is just not the style of videos that you like to watch um but i did try to give my honest opinion and my personal views on the two topics of bed trading my three-year-old and weaning my one-year-old off of breastfeeding um and i just hope the things that i'm doing will work for my kids they may not work for your kids not one thing works for every kid um so you just have to understand that and be patient and work with your kid not against your kid but yeah um most things are done just when they're ready and that's just how it works with kids. so if you enjoyed this video and thought it was good advice please give it a thumbs up comment down below if anything worked with you um, and also, what did you try with your kids? Um, I would like to know what you tried. Don't forget to, to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, I would appreciate it. And so you don't miss any other videos that I post, hit the notification bell so you will get notified when a new video is posted. Um, I have to go now because Hunter is being super crazy and jumping around and we need to go eat dinner anyway. So I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye. Ow. You want to say bye? Yeah. Bye, Tinderbus. Oh my God. <laughs>